Polling places throughout the city opened early this morning for servicemen and women to vote in this year's local government elections. The general feeling was pleasant. Voters found no difficulty in voting and found the process simple and straightforward. And this is the first time for me, right? But the system, it was kind of smooth, it was nice. And I'm very excited to do it. Also, observers from the American Embassy visited the polling places to ensure a fair and orderly election. According to officers at one of the polling places, many voters showed up early when the polls opened at 6 this morning. Polling places for members of the GPF, GDF, and the Guyana Prison Services remained open until 6 p.m. Minister Winston Felix, a campaign manager for APNU, had this to say about the process thus far. But I suspect that the pace could have been a little quicker. But so far, um, based on the polling stations I have visited, um, things are going smoothly. Initially, there was some difficulty for several voters to find their names on the list. The delay in the process was the unfamiliarity of it for some voters due to the lack of elections in over 20 years. There were about 28 polling stations in the Georgetown area for the men and women of the disciplined forces to cast their ballots. Each of them was located at their assigned places of duty. Some of the locations included the Brick Dam Police Headquarters, Camp Ayangana, and the Prison Officers Sports Club across the street from Camp Street Prison. The ballot boxes will be held by representatives of GCOM. They will be held until March 18th when they will be added to the votes of the rest of the voting residents.